Super Rugby Pacific 2024 final is here. Blues vs Chiefs, New Zealand derby for the final. Sold out stadium in Auckland. It, it does it get better? I don't think. I don't think it does not get better than this. Clash of the Titans. Blues been flying high all season. Chiefs kind of been floating, flying under that radar, and really started to flex their muscles. The business end of the season. A forward dominant team versus a backs dominant team. How good! I can't wait for it. Before we get into it, hit that like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Who's going to win? Who's going to get man of the match? Who's going to win? Most of all, who's going to win? Let me know in the comments. Hit that subscribe. Let's get into it. Just checking. We'll check the teams out quickly. So Blues team, Paddy Tui Pulotu. Captain Fantastic with the recovery of Doom. Toys MCL two weeks ago. He's back in the starting lineup. Some special carver they're handling, handing out there in Auckland, but he's back in. Good to see how good, unchanged. Otherwise, Chiefs, so Tyrone Thompson comes in for Tokiaho, who got injured last week. Bit of an injury or hooker crisis at the Chiefs. Um, and Slater comes in on the bench for them. Shooter named to play as well, Shooter Stevenson. Uh, he was named last week, but didn't play. So hopefully he's little niggle, that's all sweet, and he's good to go. Man, two very strong sides named. You can't, I can't wait. God, this is, this is it. Two of the best sides at the final. Yes, I'm saying that my, my Hurricanes got knocked out, but got knocked out by a really good Chiefs team. Oh, man. Like I, and I say for most games, most teams, most matches, most rugby matches, really, it's going to be won or lost up front. Um, Blues, very forward dominant. They have been all season. And if you let them get a roll on, that's when it really becomes hard to try and rein it back in or to try and calm them down or to try and disrupt them. They're so strong in that regard. Their carries, their cleans, their mauls, everything to do with forwards. Their first phase, their line-out scrums, really, really good. Um, and they've been, they've, been, they've been suffocating teams like that. I think someone like Ricky Telly and Alpha Tuonga Fasi have been really good up front. Um, just loving that stuff. The carries, the cleans that they do, the work that work that Riccatelli gets through that gets unnoticed and untalked about, really. Unreal. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets floated into that. Now Tokiaho's injured as well. All blacks. Riccatelli's there. You got Cody Taylor, you got Asafa Moore. Who's that third one? Especially if Tokiaho's injured. Let's keep that in mind. Um and then like that's the biggest question is can the Chiefs calm this blues forward storm? This blues forward storm. That'll be it. It's gonna be massive, massive games for guys like Tupovai, um, Jacobson, Samapeni Finau, Wallace Satiti to try and stop or try and disrupt or try and manage this blues forward pack, really, because like I said. All season, this Blues forward pack, so dominant and so good at enforcing their style of play on to the opposition. It's similar to a Springbok style of play, in a way. It's really suffocating you up front physically, uh, disrupting your ball, counter rucks wherever they can, uh, really good at set piece. Um, and that's like the foundation for a good team. Is If you can nail that, the simple things, your line out scrums, you're, half, you're bloody halfway there. Then you just need to score tries. And this Blues team can. I think their average points per game is over 30 points. So they can score points. Um, the matchup, eighth man matchup, Wallace Satiti versus Satutu. Oh, Satiti, Satutu, love that. Um, man, Wallace Satiti was unreal last week. Just the big plays, the big carries, the big tackles, getting in and around everything. Fantastic. And then Satutu has been doing that all season. So to see those two go at it. Also, again, a little all-black trial there. I don't mind that. Um, it'll, be, it'll be unreal. And like I said, it'll be huge games for the rest of that Chiefs forward pack to really try and yeah, disrupt, do anything they can, secure their own ball, make sure their own contact is good, strong in contact, strong body shape, positive in contact, 
and kind of meet fire with fire there. Blues forward pack is fire. Chiefs have to meet that. You can't shy away from that. Uh, I think the halves battle will be fantastic as well. Christie, Finlay Christie and Plummer versus Ratima and McKenzie. Um, man, um, you're leaning towards Chiefs here because McKenzie's so influential in his game. Like he plays well, team usually wins um, because he's so that he's that influential on the team. He's kicking out of hands, fantastic. His kicking to goal has been unreal as well. Um, and it, they'll look to definitely look to him to put them in the right direction, steer them in the right direction, put them on the right ends of the field, and then come up with those big plays as well. Um, he's been really good like that. And again, on the other side, like Plummer's been fantastic for the Blues. perfetta has been injured most seasons, so Plummer's jumped in there. Now Perifetta's back. They've put him at fullback. Plummer's done a fantastic job at 10 for them. Um, looking at the centres, oh, that, that match-up, Anton Leonard Brown and Ioane, another all-black trial for sure. Ioane really struggling with form this year. Um, but if there's someone that can put a stamp their mark or stamp their authority on the big stage, it's Ioane. So, yes, he might not have had the best season this year, but he could come out and just blast it in the final. And you wouldn't, you'd be like, yep, that's Rico Ioane. And on the other side, Anton Leonard Brown has been fantastic for the Chiefs all year. Really good with, um, on, defensive side but he's come up with good plays attacking wise his support play is unreal and then he's reading him and him and Damien McKenzie's connection they have that chemistry fantastic so he's running good lines off McKenzie and um, like I said his defense fantastic back three back three madness for both teams all six in contention for the All Blacks all six looking to run the ball attacking dominant Threats all over the park, know how to beat a player one on one, all 6 2, which is fantastic. Not much kicking, yes, Perofeta has a good boot on him. Uh, Etenane Soturu's got a good boot, boot on him, but they all 6 love to run the ball. So you can see again, guys like McKenzie and Plummer will look to kick, but then these back three, I can see them just running the ball, man, from wherever out on the park. Let's go, let's attack. Um, and I love that they're all fighting for All Blacks positions. That makes this even more juicier. Um, you'll see, you can also, you'll imagine or expect them to be popping up all over the field. You know, Mark Talia loves picking the ball up at nine and going for his little darts. And especially if this Blues forward pack are setting the platform for their backs, their backs can just dance with it, man. So it'll be up to, again, it'll be one up front. And then from there, it's a, if, if Chiefs can match this Blues forward pack, I'm going with Chiefs for a win, an away win as well. Um, and I think I'm going to stick that. I stick that the preseason, my preview of the season, I said Chiefs are going to win. Chiefs are there in the final. And I'm going to stick with that. I think Chiefs win this. They just have to match the Blues up front. And then I think Chiefs firepower out the back out, like, will beat the Blues. It's tough, man. It's tough. It's exciting. How good. We're ready. This is the last game of Super. It's been fantastic to... Uh, previewing and reviewing and going all and covering the Super with you guys. Let me know what you think. I've got the Chiefs to win. It doesn't matter by how much. I'll go I'll make, I'll make. go Chiefs by five. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Who do you think is going to win? Who's going to be your man of the match? Hit that subscribe and let's go, baby. I'll see you next time. Bye.